Hi, this is Warren from FrontendAudio.com and today we're talking about the SE Electronics Reflection Filter. The reflection filter is mainly used in recording studios for vocal tracking. Um, what's included in the box, you have the filter itself, instruction manual, the microphone bracket uh, stand mount, the rod for placing the filter on, and then you've got an articulating arm that mounts also to the bracket, and it even comes with its own wrench to help with final assembly of it. First of all, I'd like to show you how to put the reflection filter together. might make life a little easier for you. First, you assemble the filter with the support rod by simply screwing it into place right here. Use the included wrench to do the final tightening. Next, we're going to mount the bracket itself to the mic stand. What we do is we simply pull this away, which releases that. Wrap the bracket around the stand like this. Now we're able to close it back in and tighten as needed with both of these knurled screws. This is the arm which mounts to the bracket before the reflection filter. What we do is simply loosen this part at the end. We slide it into the bracket and then we tighten here at the bracket and then we tighten as needed off of the face and now we're ready to mount the filter on there. Place the filter in from the top and then we tighten down as needed and you've assembled your reflection filter. Next you loosen the microphone mounting rod a bit to give you a little leeway to spin it onto the mount then tighten from the bottom. Now we're in place to use the microphone. Positioning the microphone is going to be to taste and, of course, to height of the artist as well. What we can do, again, is just simply loosen the bottom a little bit, and we can slide further back into the filter. Or we could come out as well if we're looking for a little bit maybe more of an open sound. So the variation in filtering is how deep you decide to go into the filter itself with the mic. Personally, I find that starting and probably remaining around the edge of the filter is a good spot for me when tracking vocals with the reflection filter. The outer portion of the filter is punched aluminum, which goes to some thick wool, through an air space, back through more wool, and then to another layer of punched aluminum on the other side. The aluminum helps to diffuse the sound. As you can see on the inside of the filter, there are four absorptive panels in there as well. Now those work twofold. First of all, when you're singing or speaking into these panels, it helps to reduce the amount of the original source making it out into the room. And of course, we've got diffusion and absorption on the way back. So it further eliminates reflections coming to the rear and to the sides of the microphone. The reflection filter really does what it looks like it'll do. I own one personally. It helps to tighten a vocal sound, and I've used them on guitar cabs and other sources as well. For more information on the reflection filter, check us out online at frontendaudio.com. Thanks.